Seems like a great idea to have connected cars, right? I've already given examples in previous videos where a central portal could be hacked and then Kia cars could be remotely hacked using the dealer portal. And here we have another example. This is from DEF CON 33. Unexpected connections, how a vulnerability in obscure dealer software could have unlocked your car from anywhere. A security researcher has found flaws in a car maker's web portal that let the hacker remotely unlock cars from anywhere and turn them on as an example. And here's the problem. The hackers found vulnerabilities in a top order maker's centralized dealer platform used by authorized dealers in the USA. They were able to create a national admin account which gave them full access to over 1,000 USA dealers. They could start your car, get your personal information, there's financial information, and a whole bunch of other stuff that they were able to access just by attacking the central portal. The takeaway is that only two simple API vulnerabilities or application programming interface vulnerabilities blasted the doors open and it's always related to authentication. If you're going to get those wrong, then everything just falls down. Again, I think it's ridiculous that cars are being connected this way. From a central portal, they can start your car. They could actually even transfer ownership of your car to someone else without you knowing. And he tested that with a friend of his. They could dox you by simply finding information about a car, such as the VIN number. So they could take a photo of the VIN number, but they could also do this with just your first name and last name. So the central system has a consumer lookup update tool in the dealer portal that supports a lookup by VIN or first last name. It's totally silent, so you wouldn't know this information. As they say here, many clever hacks can be used to control cars, but the unexpected connection here is that dealers have control over your car. I think it's crazy that a central portal can be hacked this way. This is the problem with taking lots of data and centralizing it. If hackers attack the central portal or central part of the system, they suddenly control perhaps millions of cars. So the dealers have enrollment systems to pay customers to a new car. The pairing enables the use of the mobile app. The mobile app then allows you to remotely start and unlock a car. The pairing process could be abused to transfer ownership of the car and they tested that with the full consent of a friend. They just had to do a pinky promise that it was a legit transfer. There was no authentication. They were doing a lookup simply based on name or they could use the VIN if they wanted to, and they were able to transfer ownership of the car.